Hey, what's up? Um, so I just wanted to talk about some of the things it takes to overcome BDD. And there's a few things that I have in mind. Um, actually, there's more than a few things. You're going to need um, perseverance. So even when times are really, really hard, you still have to push through. Even if you don't have any hope in you left, just you have to just push through because maybe that next day, like say you're having a really bad week, maybe that next day, you know, you'll feel better. Um, commitment, you need, you need to be 100% committed to getting over it, meaning you have to make, it feels like you have to make sacrifices, you have to, like you know that if you go out, you're going to feel anxiety and depression. Nobody wants to feel anxiety and depression, but you have to go out anyways. And the thing that most people don't understand one that anxiety and depression isn't as bad as it as it like it's all hype you know like you're like oh my god I can't go to school today I'm gonna have too much anxiety and depression I'm gonna be obsessing about my face it's there's so many factors that play in, in anxiety and depression like it's not that it's not as bad as you like make it like as you make it in your head sometimes it's really bad but sometimes it's not so bad so um you need like so commitment and um yeah just you know sometimes you feel like things are going to bring there you, you think like things aren't going to benefit you at all but and you feel like they're just going to cause you more pain so like going and doing an exposure by going to school you think that's not going to benefit you you think you're just going to feel more anxiety and depression but you but it actually is going to benefit you you just don't know it so yeah and then you want some type of structure so like school work because if you're just like chilling at your house all day your BDD is not gonna get any better I guarantee you that you have to be out in public that's why to get over BDD it's like instead of feeling pain for a long term like you know staying at your house not doing anything not that it's not not that you're it's not like you're lazy but no means you're not lazy it's just I've been through that I went through a year when I was just in my house not well I went out to school and everything but I didn't go outside for any activities because of the anxiety and depression was so bad so once I got like on like some medicine that helped my anxiety and depression went down and then I could kinda work on the BDD and fixing that so anyways um, you want some type of structure because oh yeah so I was, as I was saying like just going to school yeah you're gonna feel pain meaning anxiety and depression but it'll be over with and yeah you're gonna you know take some pain then but that's all in the process of getting over BDD like you need to accept the pain you need to accept the anxiety you need to accept the depression because what you're doing with BDD is you're pretty much just putting off you don't like the feelings of anxiety and depression so you're putting off things that give you that feeling like you're not going places you're avoiding places because they give you anxiety and depression but you're just digging yourself deeper in the hole by accepting the anxiety and depression and by challenging the BDD in the correct form and in the correct manner you'll get over it um, so you need also need CBT to correct your cognitive distortions for example like you're walking and you're like oh my god that person's staring at my face or that person's staring at my left ear it's just like no like if you walk down the if you walk down a sidewalk and you look at people you just like you acknowledge that they're there and even if you if you judge them like wow look at that person's face doesn't mean that they're doing it to you because people with BDD they tend to look at everybody's like flaws and everybody's you know or everyone's perfections I don't know whatever so just because you do it to other people it doesn't mean that other people do it to you you know just most people if they look at you it's just they're, they're acknowledging that you're there you know then it's like if they don't look at you you're like oh no they're not looking at me because I'm ugly see that's it's like a lose-lose situation you can't win with BDD that's why you just go you say right now I'm feeling anxiety and depression I'm probably gonna think that people are looking at me but that's just the BDD and do that and repeat that over and over and over and you'll see the results so yeah um, nice talking to you guys um, 
let me know if you want me to talk about anything. No one ever gives me any requests, so someone can do do that and be the first one to give me a request. Be pretty cool. Like interact with my YouTube audience. Um, yep, peace.